Hello and welcome back to Frank's School. Uh, this is the 13th uh, day in the 13th year, first video of only one, I think. State of the school, the year, year 2023. I may get rid of this right now because I'm kind of on a roll. This is more important at the moment, I think, than dealing with this. But in any case, it's the 14th video that I have in that series. Warm air furnace heating, third, uh, and I'll maybe go on. I'm not sure how I'll try to organize this. Uh, we'll have to see about it. I'll probably even change the name. All right, doors plus. Well, I bought another door. I was back to the scrapyard, and I bought another door. This one cost me uh, $5, which is a more reasonable price, I think. I paid 10 each for the other ones. A uh, clinker door, it says. Uh, well, a clinker is what you get when you burn coal. You get ashes and you get clinkers. Uh, and, and the back is also protected as well. And it's smaller, which is probably the reason that uh, I didn't have to pay as much. I, I want to uh, say, let's see, clinker doors and edit. Well, edit means that what I'm referring to is this door. I've come to realize that the back of this was not, its purpose was not to warm the air more, uh, the draft. Its purpose was to keep the coal or the ashes or whatever from falling out through the vent, which is on the other side. Uh, I mean, that, that makes much more sense to me. Uh, I don't know if you understood that or not. Uh, now, if you wanted to see online what else there is available about the subject that I'm currently dealing with, the word octopus would help you. Octopus? It has to do with the ductwork that came off the top of gravity, of gravity warm air uh, furnaces. Not water ones, but warm air. Not, not, not uh, that I hadn't better get into that right now. Uh, I think what I should do, and the word gravity becomes important too, like gravity heating. If you, if you want to search this to see what else is online. Fossil fuel free. I find that there's very little that has that that currently online, at least on, on uh, YouTube channels. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to call this fossil fuel free home heating. 3F2H would be a shortcut for that. Uh, now that's this. This is versus gravity warm air is as contrasted to forced hot air. And when you force air, you've got a fan blowing it. And what it does is that fan blows that air right against a very hot surface uh, and, it, and the air comes off very hot. Of course that gets rid of humidity uh, and makes for other, all kinds of other problems. But I thought I'd put that in there. So the back of the door, why protected? That had to do with coal. That would not be really necessary with wood. And it was, purpose was not to warm air. Okay, I dealt with that. And I think I showed you the clinker door. Now, uh, the second shot, I, I failed. Yes, I mean, I, I made it yesterday, but it was so poor that I thought I'd better do it again. So I'm going to try again. There will be coming, I, well, I, I hope, a second shot. Bye for the moment. Okay, let me try this again, see if this works any better. Fur Warm Air uh, Furnace Heating by A.M. Daniels. Uh, and there's the title page. Uh, I'm hoping this works. I don't know. I'll, I don't mind doing it again and again. Copyright 1930. Um, second edition. I think the first edition must have been much earlier. Well, um, uh, this part right here, I'm thinking some about reading it aloud uh, on on a, on my YouTube channel because it is so interesting. The historical part. Early warm air heaters. It truly is interesting. This they regard as kind of a monster uh, because it's so about 1850. 
they feel that they had done so much better before that. Uh, these are examples of uh, earlier. I mean, I, I think in a way this it could be regarded as the golden age of iron casting or cast iron making. Uh, but uh, and and the point was to heat an, a house as big as that. Gravity pipe, warm air heating systems, typical. Well, you see the the heat, I, the furnace is in the center usually. The heat goes up and it goes down the outer walls. Now there's leakage. Uh, that's the opposite of what forced air, hot air furnaces do, uh, which I'll try to explain maybe later. Typical types, well, I mean, you could look at these. Uh, I, I mean, they, he, the point he, this author is trying to make is that there were all kinds of experiments going on in the early days. Um, this ring right here, what do they call it, the raise ring? Uh, this was because they, they enclosed the whole furnace in sheet metal and then, uh, well, and I'll, have, I'll probably have more to say about that. Here's a typical steel uh, uh, casing top, a steel furnace using fire brick instead of, uh, and there's a, another very typical one, a steel here to hold the fire brick in. There are the grates. Uh, now the earlier ones could just stay with cast. Uh, they, 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 were, they were gems. Now, at, at a certain point, they enclosed the whole thing with brick, uh, which was great in, in a way because it made for uh, uh, thermal mass. All these liters going out, and there's the return of the cold air, uh, they give the nickname to this kind of heating system as a, an octopus system because so many reached out. I'll have more to say about that. Um, oh, lots of kinds, uh, and I, I, I really don't. I want you to be able to see these images. And uh, now these rings at the bottom, I've got sitting out in the yard, I've got one of these, I guess it would be, sitting right there in the yard, which I bought for $20 today at a scrapyard. Th those are beautiful castings. Uh, may maybe a lot of this doesn't really need commentary if you could just look at the uh, illustrations. And I, I probably, oh, there, there's an array of grates resting on that bottom casting. A, a, a case like this, you'd shake it this back and forth this way. It was, it was, it was quite an art, but it was necessary because it was cold. With wood, you don't really need that. Okay, I think I'm going to stop and see how how well this uh, this goes. I'll probably put it on no matter what. Bye for now.